Good morning students welcome back to your next video of geography chapter number 2 let us use the graticule now here in this video we'll be learning something important that is important parallels and meridians so let us see what are these important parallels and meridians since we, since we had it already in our first lesson but we'll have a recap with some more importance in it so let's see to it one by one now you can find here a globe is shown and a box a uh, square box square bracket i could say, uh, say it better are shown here having area of perpendicular ray slanting and very slanting and some other things are also written over here so let's learn now all the places between this 23 degree 30 minutes north 23 degree 30 minutes south of the equator that is this area entirely this area see my arrow where it is moving this area is uh, receiving the perpendicular rays from the sun you can find here see this rays are directly falling in this area so this area that is from here to here of the globe the entire area is receiving perpendicular rays now the other areas of the earth are not at all receiving such perpendicular rays as of this area that means the heat received by this area is the most people living in this area of the earth are having greater amount of sunlight and sun's heat which is also called as perpendicular rays in the tropic of cancer and tropic of Cap capricorn regions in between this now this parallel is at 23 degree 30 minutes north and 23 degree 30 minutes south of the equator and these are known as tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn respectively now next the parallels at 66 degree 30 minutes north and 66 degree 30 minutes south that is this area and this one is called as you know it's almost the arctic and antarctic circle touching the arctic and antarctic circle now these parallels are in the area where throughout the year daytime lasts within the limit of 24 hours that means the daytime is between between 24 hours up to 24 hours so these are called as the arctic circle and antarctic circle respectively now this area that is uh after tropic of cancer and before arctic circle and after uh, tropic of capricorn and before antarctic circle this areas the sun's rays are slanting it's not straight it's not 90 degree it's slanting hence the heat received is comparatively less the heat received is comparatively less in the areas of tropic of cancer in between tropic of cancer arctic circle and tropic of capricorn antarctic circle now depending on the seasons daytime that is the sun being visible in the sky can be greater than 24 hours in between the polar circles that is these at the top after arctic circle and after antarctic circle so these two at the top and bottom areas these areas have the sun's rays very 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 minimal that is the daytime is very less i should say the visibility of daytime is less now if i come across the duration of day in these areas are more than 24 hours we say one day is 24 hours but in these areas it is more than 24 hours and now apart from this the sky can be in the appearance like the duration of sun's appearance in the sky can be of 6 months at the poles based on the seasons over here the visibility of sun is only of 6 months they cannot view every day you know like as throughout the year they can't view the sun in these areas it's almost dark for 6 months and in light for almost 6 months another 6 months during this period the sun continues to move in a spiral on the horizon now as we have all learned about the earth's axis is inclined inclined means it's not straight like this it's almost in a slanting way in this way 
it is inclined to what degree 23 degree and 30 minutes hence we have the rise of certain zones in the pressure belts which we will be learning in our 7th standard but just know what are these zones the zone in the equatorial plain and in between tropic of cancer and capricorn is called as torrid zone in the north and south the region in between tropic of you know cancer to arctic circle tropic of cancer to antarctic circle is called as temperate zone in the north and south and at the top the arctic inside the arctic circle and inside the antarctic circle it is called as frigid zone which is entirely covered with ice glaciers and all as they don't receive sun's rays there is almost the temperature is too cold hence the population living in these areas are very 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 less now coming to the next the torrid zone temperate zone and frigid zone give rise to pressure bills these zones are created due to duration and intensity of sunlight now think a little this is the image that you have learnt just now in your previous slide let's answer to some question which important parallel passes through india now india is over here so which is the important parallel that is passing through india it is tropic of cancer which areas of india do not get perpendicular rays now see this is the equatorial line i said the areas in between this receive the perpendicular rays as shown in the box square bracket now the area above this india is over here so area above this that is above the tropic of cancer will not receive perpendicular rays so the area to the north of tropic of cancer that is above the tropic of cancer do not get the perpendicular rays which region receives perpendicular rays in on two days in a year now the region to the south of tropic of cancer receives perpendicular rays two days in a year we will learn about this in deep in your seventh standard how these two days are emerging but just for the information as due to the revol revolution and rotation of the earth it happens that two times the a region of india will receive the proper 90 degree rays twice in a year that is to the south of tropic of cancer that is in the peninsula region of india now coming to the next topic of the lesson that is world standard time now children this is again the image of a globe a globe where you can see some uh, degrees are written from 0 to 180 on both the sides now the zero degree meridian is also called as the prime meridian which is an important meridian earth takes almost 24 hours to rotate around itself that is earth turns almost suppose it is starting from this zero degree towards the left that is it when it comes back to zero degree it almost turns 360 degrees in 24 hours so if this is the case how much time would it take to turn or move through one degree now it might take almost we can view this by the degrees and minutes parts that we have learnt in our previous video if it takes 360 degrees in 24 hours so what about one hour one hour 60 minutes so in 24 hours how many minutes would it take to just turn around this 360 degrees it would take 1440 minutes suppose it is taking 1440 minutes to move the entire 360 degree what about one degree then for one degree it would be like 1440 divided by 360 degrees we get four minutes so the earth takes four minutes to move from zero degree to one degree from one degree to two degree again four minutes from two to three degree again four minutes so like this till it's reach reaching 360 degrees it will totally take 1440 minutes so this way is the calculation of the standard time around the world now 
the time on zero degree meridian that is this pink color line over here is called as green witch meridian time which is also said as green witch mean time now this line is nothing but our green witch meridian this meridian is nothing but green witch meridian now take an example to understand better how to calculate the time suppose this is the green witch meridian uh, now here it is 6 am in the morning okay it is 6 am in the morning today now this just imagine it is 6 am in the morning in the green witch meridian so what will be the time in india based on this 6 am in india the green witch standard time is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead ahead means add after 6 am just add 5 hours 30 minutes plus 6 the time in India you will get it as 11.30 a.m. morning itself. Okay. We are just ahead of 5 and a half hours from the Greenwich Meridian. Take example of any time. Suppose it is again if I take 7 a.m. it will be plus 5 and a half hours. So 12.30 it comes to p.m. Because after 11.30 a.m. 12 then 12.30 p.m. afternoon. Not morning it is afternoon so likewise you can calculate any time if suppose the time is nine o'clock just minus five and a half hours you will know the actual time in greenwich meridian so this is the way to calculate world standard time at any place of the world to avoid the confusion of people staying at different places in the world now coming to the next topic that is international date line we have is all the meridians are drawn to the east and west of zero degree meridian suppose this is a zero degree meridian all the meridians are drawn on the eastern side like this and also on the western sides so 180 degree meridian which is just opposite of the zero degree meridian is also an important meridian normally we change the date and day at midnight 12 a.m but it is not same for all the meridians at different parts of the world when we change the date and day at midnight it is still evening in england and also it is morning at some other places maybe with respect to some previous date or after date so it is confusing to understand it better so let's have an example now now before example these People who get confused to understand the world standard time using the international date line. There is an international convention which helps us to understand the date and day on the earth which is staged with the help of 180 degree meridian. So thus this 180 degree meridian is also called as international date line. Just opposite to 0 degree the line that we saw is also called as 180 international date line. So if this meridian, this is the meridian here we have 0 here we have 180 degree if anyone crosses from east to west or west to east the date and day is also changed along with the time time we had learned how it changes plus 530 somewhere it is just half an hour somewhere it is just you know some seconds or minutes similarly there is a change in date and day also now how to know it so here is an example suppose someone is moving from the west to east okay through an airline with the help of airline if 180 degree meridian is crossed while traveling eastwards from the west then the day should be changed to the previous day suppose um, I am staying in the western side of earth and I want to go to my aunt's home which is on the eastern side of the earth suppose for me the day is Friday the day when I am just uh, take uh, like boarding the flight is Friday when I will reach the eastern part of the earth it is Thursday okay similarly if a 180 degree meridian is crossed while traveling towards the westwards from the east the day should be changed to the next day suppose my aunt is coming from the east to western side through an airline then if it is Friday in her place it will be Saturday in my place don't get confused I just had an example it's so easy from west to east it's always the previous day but that means if it is Saturday then there it is Friday if it is Wednesday then there it is Tuesday 
okay there is no other confusion i guess your children have understood all the three topics that is important parallels and meridians world standard time and international date line now do you know children something important based on the world it's just a fact that you people should know that is about the vatican city now vatican city is known as the smallest country in the world it has an area of 0.44 square kilometers this country is located within italy on the italian peninsula now if i check the latitudinal and the longitudinal extent see it is latitudinal extent is 41 degree 54 minutes 30 seconds north here it is again 41 degree see same degrees and same minutes what is the difference only seconds just so just think how small the country is how small it it is not we cannot compare it with anything such small country it is just a difference of seconds now similarly if i come to the longitudinal extent it is again same 12 degree and 21 minutes the only difference again here arises is 30 seconds so again it is a square type country which has same difference on the length and on the breadth now when i come speaking about the differences the only difference that we can find is in seconds that is in both latitude and longitude from this you will get an idea about how the use of smaller units of minutes and seconds are in the form of angular measurements now we can also compare this with our kalyan city it's just as small as your kalyan railway station entire kalyan railway station such small country it is so i guess you all have understood the lesson better we have completed with our second lesson over here any doubts you can just put up your questions in the comment box i'll reply it over there so thank you